Hello, yes, Donald Trump and the Camp of the Saints. The book, The Camp of the Saints, to my left, is an excellent book. I first came across The Camp of the Saints in the late 1970s when I first joined the white nationalist movement. The author, Jean Respail, must have had a crystal ball in front of him when he wrote that book, because it outlines what's going to happen and now is happening. We've seen it across the Mediterranean where hordes of migrants are now crossing the Mediterranean to Europe. We're now seeing it with the caravan that's heading from Honduras, is it, through Mexico to the Mexican-American border. We can see it now. Everything in the book, that was literally like a prophecy that Jean Respell uh, wrote, is now coming true. In fact, let me put this to you. This is how uncanny this book is. Jean Respell wrote the book on the French Riviera, and that's where the first wave of migrants from North Africa landed. In fact, they landed 150 yards from where Jean Respell had wrote that book. How uncanny is that? In the book, Western governments capitulate and the third world overruns them. And there's a, a part where uh, the French president orders his troops to repel the migrants, then has a change of heart and tells them to follow their conscience. They then desert their posts and France is then overrun by the third world. But this time, I believe that's not going to be the ending of Camp of the Saints. I believe we've got Camp of the Saints part two now with Donald Trump at the helm, right? Donald Trump is not going to capitulate. He has given his troops orders to fire should they be attacked uh, with missiles and rocks thrown by migrants, and rightly so. In fact, Mr. President, if I may, I would go on further. I wouldn't wait for them to be thrown rocks and missiles. I would give them an order to turn round or we're going to start firing, right? Because you know you don't. Right, you're going to lose your beloved America. There is no rights and wrongs in this no more. One group wants what the other group has. Either Americans, white Americans, the majority of people in America, keep America or they hand it to the third world. As is the same here in Britain and in Europe. There is no rights and wrongs in this no more. One group wants what the other group has. We either keep it or we give it to the scum of the third world who will destroy us and murder the whole of us. They will kill the lot of us. Once they overrun our lands, it's the end of us, right? It literally is, but we've got Donald Trump now standing his ground, right? He's not going to capitulate like the French, French president in the book and tell his troops to follow their conscience. He's given them orders to shoot should they be attacked, and rightly so. Donald Trump is coming under immense pressure from the globalist, the leftist shadow government, which is the, the media, the leftist mindset and all the liberals and actors and all the rest of the shower. He's coming under immense pressure. Donald Trump may not be perfect, but he's the start. He's the beginning, like Bolsonaro in Brazil. He may not be perfect, but he's the beginning. Salvini in Italy, Le Pen in France, all across Europe and the world now. Populist leaders are rising up. They may not be perfect, but they're the beginning. They're the beginning of when it transitions over to white nationalism. That's what's going to happen. I was rather sad Nick Griffin on his Facebook page, just diversifying. Um, didn't mention the Bolsonaro victory at all. And I wonder why is that because electoral politics has been successful? Donald Trump rang Bolsonaro up and congratulated him. Salvini, Marine Le Pen, uh, they uh, sent uh, messages of support to Bolsonaro. Also as well, something uh, I found the other day searching the internet. I had an inkling that the world famous Gracie Jiu Jitsu family in Brazil would be endorsing Bolsonaro. So I done a search and lo and behold, Hoist Gracie, Henson Gracie, Wanderlei Silva, and Anderson Silva, who are legends in Brazil and legends in the mixed martial arts community, all endorsed Bolsonaro and the media didn't even mention that. But getting back to Donald Trump and Camp of the Saints, we are now we can see the battle that's unfolding, the battle that we're, we're all going to be engaged in. And like I've said, 
There's, this has nothing to do with politics. This is one group wants what the other group has. And it's becoming nakedly obvious now. Trump's supporters are not being phased by pipe bombs or shootings. They are standing firm behind their president because they know their very existence depends on it. Okay, thank you.